As lockdown continues on Big Island, Hawaii, um, we just keep building. Got some builders here, got some work trade guys and some good good crew of builders that I found. And so we're doing some long needed repairs and improvements, creating more infrastructure. Um, we've been getting a lot of online response for our internships and for our work trade program. So uh, we're creating more infrastructure so we can house more people and looking to new business models as they shut tourism down in Hawaii um, because of the pandemic. So uh, let's go check out some of these new developments. Sometimes, like some people sleep here when we have a lot of uh, what is it, community members. And uh, if not, we can use it like for like watching a movie or like uh, do whatever yoga. So I did yoga here for like uh, some time. And like two days ago, I like check it out and here like some kind of whatever wood on the floor and stuff like that. And like what's going on here? Yeah. So I'm gonna tell you right now and you guys what's going on. Here. Yeah, perfect. So we expect to have a lot more guests coming soon after everything we've kind of had a break from that. But anyway, so we're preparing to have some separate spaces in here in this nice big room. Sorry to disrupt your yoga spot. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but anyway, so we're building a building sections where people can have their own space, and we're going to have a curtain around it. It's kind of coming together along as we do it, and uh, yeah. So basically, what I'm starting with is laying the perpendicular foundation to where I can attach these balls, and then kind of like I just put this up earlier this morning, and this is just two pieces of plywood attached to each other in an L shape and then we're going to stand it up, screw it to the bottom part of the foundation. And then these are going to be extended too, I'm sure you'll see from beginning to end. So, now I've been working by myself on this and sometimes when you're dealing with big sheets of plywood you got to figure out like, okay, how am I going to do that by myself easily? So, for instance, attaching this piece of plywood with the 2x2 two two, and then I'll be attaching this piece of plywood to this 2x2 two and so it was just a matter of figuring out what's the best or easiest way to do that accurately. So what I did was just lay this one down, lay this one across, and then I'll just kind of feel, I'll get a screw started first. Okay, screw started, then I just kind of like work the wood and then feel with your fingers when it's kind of flush. Not kind of And then you just do your first screw. And then I'll just kind of work my way down along the edge. Once I get a couple in, I'm gonna move it out a little bit. my fingers, I want this piece of plywood flush with the, this one back here. Make sure that's good and tight. Then I'm going to stand wow. and then finish, put about four or five screws in there. That's cool. So then I'm just going to work my way down, put screws Maybe like three more, four more. And it's going to be like a four things like this, or just one here and that's it? That is going to go right here. Yeah. Then I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to grab the camera real quick, I'll show you on this other side. Uh, but anyway, 
I'm going to be, let's see, I milled these pieces here as connector pieces. So I milled and sand these, and um, there's a space right here where there's going to be another piece of plywood going there, standing straight up, and that's going to kind of finish out the wall. Huh. And that's going to be on both sides. So that's where we're at now. Looks great, I have to say. Uh, huge you. changes, huge changes. <laughs> How do we even make that conduit round? We have to put a, get a conduit bender and bend the whole thing? If we want to do it that way, or we can go like octagonal. Okay. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have like three or yeah. two for each I one. Say two. Two. Yeah, and then we can just hang something up from the rafter. Okay. And that way, and then that way. That way we don't have to. I mean, I think ideally round would be great, but we're looking at a lot more work, I think. Okay, cool. So yeah. I think this will be cool, and then that way. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I think that's gonna make a huge difference. Yeah. And I'm gonna put um I'm gonna rip one of these down with like forty five on each side to cover up this gap here from there. Cool. The two by twos on the other sides. So yurt is becoming a dormitory, got four separate spaces. So there it is. Tank house, 30,000 gallon, old growth redwood tank. It's been out of commission now for a few years. Got some dry rot in some sections of it, and so we retired it. And now we're gonna convert it into a room. See, it's huge. So we do a lot of renovations now, and uh, this is gonna be our new office. This is uh, used to be a tent house, so water was collected here. Uh, yeah, but now it's gonna be our office. Not not office, I would say. Probably like a, a different kind of needs room for a yoga, for office, for like a leisuring and like. A, uh, movie watching and stuff like that. So I'm super excited. So now I just got Carolina super excited about this is a, this new tent house situation. So now she going there to check it out, and I'm going with her. Just curious to see her first impression because like I didn't expect that it. it's so freaking huge. To be honest, that's cool. <laughs> They're doing the tent house. And go there, check it out. It's very exciting. What do you guys uh, harvest today? Oh, we got a few things. It? Yeah, what do you got in your hand there? <laughs> what, uh, what are these? Some, these are these some beautiful cherries. There's so many. We harvested some the other day, yeah. and now there's so many more today. This is some of the community garlic in there. Nice, nice, nice. Um, some lulo. Some lulo. You're watching some lulo over there. Yep. Some citrus, like a little bit. Gotta wash these guys off, but. Oh yeah, rubo juice happening. Nice. You got these. Oh, first few lychees. First lychee of the season. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I heard. Look at that. <laughs> Today we're gonna have some of the wild food. The pigeon pea. Pigeon pea. We grow in our gardens to be able to have material to fertilize the gardens and have like a moat, right? So you're cutting all the time, you have the seeds that the chickens love that, the animals. And you know, we eat too, but it's very hard manual work to peel everyone, so we don't do that frequently. <laughs> but it is one alternative food, it's a rich in protein. If you wanted to try, you... I, I'm cooking now, I'm gonna put in the rice cook with some basmati rice, and then this one I had peeled. And they're gonna cook the 
We're doing this uh, live big, uh, live big show. So, and I really uh, into all this editing process. <clears throat> so, and uh, we have a lunch uh, usually uh, like five days a week uh, at uh, 1 p.m. Like a beautiful chefs, uh, really great chefs uh, cooks for us. Um, different food for me it's like uh, raw vegan different salads hummuses and things like that super cool like ice cream banana ice cream super delicious so but what I'm saying like um, everybody already on the lunch and I'm still here editing videos because tomorrow we should post an episode so stay tuned uh, wait for a new episode and if you like us subscribe and give that us thumbs up and if not that's totally fine that's okay hey. you're on live big tv i'm on the fake tv live big tv oh my what's going on in here well we're busily working away with uh, mayumi's um, art orders and correspondence and mm -hmm. This is her office and print room, and we actually stay very active here. Okay. 